Hi guys, in footballboots.co.k and today we're going to talk about midfielders boots. A lot of you have been asking what boots you should wear for certain positions. Matt already did a video on defenders. Today I'm going to talk about midfielders boots. I'm a midfielder myself, so um, a little bit of personal insight into that. Now obviously the brands want you to wear certain boots for certain positions and there's a good reason for that. They are doing certain bits of technology to enhance boots to make them more effective in certain positions. A lot of you say it doesn't matter what boots you wear um, and that's true too. So you just need to find what boots suit you. Sometimes brands have made little changes to certain boots to enhance for certain players. Um, certain players in the game are wearing certain boots as well and I'm going to look today at the best ones available. They've got little things like the way they make um, turns and stuff easier for midfielders. Midfielders are doing something a bit different than some other players. Midfielders want to turn and pass the ball. Um, it doesn't happen so much in some other positions. And um, also when you're passing the ball, you need something perhaps to help you with passing as well. There are things that a lot of the brands have added to their boots to enhance those aspects of the game. So let's look at the best boots for midfielders right now. I'm gonna start off by talking about one of the smaller brands and that is New Balance. So New Balance have their Vizarro. That is their midfielders boot. Now the nice thing with New Balance is that they do have the standard Bizarro and there is also a wide fit version available too. Lots of colorways been available in the Bizarro, so the Bizarro um, came out quite a while ago. It's still the original kind of Bizarro generation, the Furon got an update, the Bizarro stayed the same. Um, it has this kind of um, areoprene um, honeycomb upper and um, that is different in slightly different places for um, the shooting aspect at the front, but then you've got this kind of control aspect in the middle of the boot. It's been quite a few colorways. Um, you're looking at kind of the, the galaxy ones, the toxic ones, um, lava ones, the serene green ones. Um, there's the original launch ones, of course, as well. And they, they had some player support as well. You've seen the likes of Joe Ledley, um, Aaron Ramsey wearing these for Wales at Euros. Um, obviously a lot of success on the pitch for them there. Fellaini is another headline player who wears um, the New Balance boots and the Bizarro in particular. Um, so that's the Bizarro, definitely the midfielder's boot from uh, New Balance. Nice little bit of technology designed for um, enhancing and supporting your game in that position. The next boot I'm going to look at is the Tiempo. The Tiempo is a boot that I'm thinking of for those guys who perhaps play a bit more of a defensive midfield position or even if you just perhaps prefer having a leather boot. Um, Pirlo is one of those players who headlines the Tiempo in the midfield positions for Nike. Um, Thiago Silva and a few other players obviously wear um, defensively as well. Um, and if you're considering looking at the Tiempo, then there's a whole bunch of colorways you can look at. In the Tiempo Legend 6, the latest release, obviously um, you've got the Spark Brilliant ones, um, the Pitch Dark ones and the Elite Pack ones, there's gonna be a new release soon. Also, one of the things to think about with the Tiempo is you can get the anti-clog version. So, um, if you're gonna be playing on muddy pitches, the Tiempo is available in anti-clog, um, and that's the Legend 6. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative, perhaps you wanna go back to the Legend 5. The Legend 5 was a great boot. You can get something cheaper there. You can also consider maybe getting the Genio or one of the lower ranges if you still want a leather boot that's gonna work for you. So, with the Legend 6, it is that um, real premium leather upper over that internal skeleton. And as I say, um, Pilo is that guy who's been kind of headlining them for them. He just got his special release, those wine inspired ones. They look like a real classy kind of um, release. They have the cork you know, soft liner. And if you are the nice little details that Nike have given them for the Tiempos. Um, yeah, with the leather upper, a lot of players like a leather boot. And if you want a leather boot, perhaps if you play a little bit more defensively in the midfield role, then the Tiempos could be for you. Right, let's talk about another leather boot. And I'm gonna talk about the Evo Touch. So this is a leather boot with the kind of sock collar aspect added onto it. And these are the um, ones that have been released by Puma. One of the nice things with these is that sole plate does have these conical studs for that rotational movement that is good for um, midfielders looking to use. These are being worn by a, a few kind of key midfielders in the game. So you're thinking about Cesc Fabregas, um, Cazola and Verratti, they're all wearing these. These um, kind of becoming that new kind of midfielders boot from Puma. I wouldn't necessarily say there's a huge amount of like technology outside of this sole plate that really makes them suitable for midfielders, but if you do want a nice kind of um, leather upper, then obviously this is the boot that you're probably gonna look at in the range from Puma that they have. One thing you could consider is um, if you wanted leather still, you could go with the leather Evo Touch, uh, sorry, leather Evo Power, which um, is quite a nice release. There'll be some new Evo Powers coming out um, available with that soon, but let's talk a little bit more about the Eva Power because obviously the Eva Power is what Fabregas wore before he switched to these. Um, the Eva Power is worn by Yaya Torre, and um, there's a whole bunch of colorways available in the Eva Power. 
uh, Puma have been doing their Clash colorways, which are quite nice. Um, if you like those, obviously the Euro ones are super bright with the pink and yellow, but there are a few more understated colorways around now. And the great thing with the Eva Power was they're a little bit wide fitting, so if you've got a, um, a wide foot, then you perhaps might prefer those um, over going with something like the Evo Touch. And the idea with the Eva Power was that they were trying to mimic this barefoot kicking. Um, that what they did do though is they added this um, AccuFoam, and that was underneath the uh, Adapt Light Upper. And it's really nice in these striking areas um, for hitting some nice long range passes, um, hitting some long range shots, really suited Fabregas' game. Um, I'm wondering whether perhaps he perhaps should go back to those over the um, Eva touches. But anyway, the Eva Power is a great boot for that. And so if you're pinging those long passes or you want to take the long shots, then the Eva Power can be really good for that. And obviously with the other thing with having that upper is they've tried to do it so kind of when the, you receive a pass, it dampens the ball. So that's one of the great reasons to consider the Eva Power. And, and to be honest, I would say they're probably a better option than the Eva Touch, unless you're looking for the leather. And then even still, as I was saying, there is a leather Evo Power available, so definitely consider those for your uh, midfielder's boots. Yaya Toure is wearing the Eva Powers, and he's definitely a player to look up to in that midfield role. Right, let's talk a little bit about Adidas boots. Um, so Adidas have got their range designed for midfielders, and that's the Ace range. So. There is the Ace Prime Net, and there also is the Ace 16.1s. 16.1s getting a lot more player support on pitch, and colorway wise, you're definitely seeing um, the availability of a lot of different colorways that you can wear from Adidas. They're dropping all sorts of colorways at the moment, back from that to the Speed of Light packs and, and all sorts of colors before that as well. So if you're looking for something, you can probably find a color that you like in the Ace Prime Nets. Now the primer itself is designed to wrap and compress your midfoot and that's going to give you nice comfort. It's also going to help with your traction because um, you're going to have that, uh, the energy transfer is going to go to your foot and you're going to make those movements quite nice. Have those conical studs on the sole which is really nice for those rotational movements and also having a little bit of a dampening effect when you're receiving passes with that upper too. So some really good things with the laced version. A lot of you will prefer the laces because you can kind of make sure you've got a really nice fit. You don't have to worry about um, your foot sliding around or anything in the laceless versions. A few players that are enjoying the 16.1 uh, Primates would include uh, Oscar at Chelsea, Pjanic at Juventus and Gundogan at Manchester City. Uh, the other boot which we're going to talk about in the Ace range is obviously the Pure Controls. So these are the Speed of Light ones, um, there's been the Viper Pack and a whole bunch of other boots um, already released in different colorways. They do tend to sell out, so um, if you want a pair of boots, um, I think the Speed of Lights are still available, but it can be a bit difficult to find Pure Controls. One pair of boots that has sold out already in these is the Spacecraft one. So those are the ones with the leather at the front, the K leather, real nice premium boot. And these are relatively wide fitting. Um, they come with the collar. And the best thing about these is the striking surface. So you get this lovely, big, clean striking surface. And obviously Pogba and Ozil are really enjoying wearing these. Um, and they have a nice wrap around this other part here too. So it's really interesting when you do wear them, they actually do wrap around your foot quite nicely. It doesn't feel like they're gonna fly off your foot at some point. There is going to be a new release on the Ace range soon, so the Ace 17.1s are on the horizon. They won't be around for a little while, um, but it does mean that some of these boots will be phased out, like the 16.1 probably won't translate into the 17.1, so you won't get that regular version, only the Prime Knit will be available as I say. But the Ace range has been designed by Adidas for the midfielders, and definitely the conical studs and all that rotational traction stuff is available with these as well, and you've got this nice clean area for receiving the ball and playing passes. Um, so the Ace range is very nice from Adidas for your midfielders to consider. A couple more boots for me to talk about, and let's move on and talk about the Opus. So the Opus is um, part of the Magista range from Nike, and the Opus is the version without the sock, as you can see. Um, the Opus has actually got a lot of player support. It has the Kangalite upper, and that's something that a lot of players really enjoy. But the, the problem I see with these ones, one of the reasons why I don't necessarily go to these as much is that you've lost a lot of the Kangalite upper because they've added in all these raised dimple areas. Um, personally, I find this colorway pretty ugly. A lot of you might enjoy it, but another thing, even if you take out this heat map thing, you still have these kind of extra bobbles on top of your boot, which to me are a little bit strange. Um, but if you're gonna go with the colorway, maybe you could consider the pitch darks or the elite packs or one of those other ones where um, they're not gonna stand out and be perhaps as bright and in your face as these. Now, another thing to think about is there will be some future releases coming from Nike, maybe in like a new Techcraft pack. Um, so you might be able to get a leather version of these, which could also be quite nice. Um, 
So the players that are wearing these include Iniesta, Arda Turam, Sergio Busquets, Sami Kedra, James Milner, um, Javier Mascherano. So really popular boot with players. Um, I personally don't get it so much, but it does have that nice sole plate on here. So you've got that rotational traction. This is something that they added into this Magista 2 range that wasn't in the sole plate on the original Magistas. Um, so the other boot that you can consider if you're a midfielder, um, and the one that I've been wearing recently, I've actually quite enjoyed, is the Obra. So obviously these two boots are very much connected. The difference is, is with the Obra, you've got that Flyknit upper over the Kangalite upper. Personally, I much prefer the Flyknit version. And then you also got the dimpled areas that are on these. Um, they do exist on here as well. They're hidden underneath the Flyknit, so you don't see them. They don't, and they're not exposed. There's been a few changes with the Opus from the Sorry, with the Obra from the previous generation, so they changed the way that the dynamic fit collar fits a little bit. And what I would say is if I was considering this pair of Obras over the original ones, then I would probably go with these. If I was considering these Opus over the original ones, I would probably go with the original ones. They had that nice honeycomb upper, um, and that's definitely something that you consider. I mean, one of the great things about looking at an older boot is it means you're gonna get a high-end boot for a cheaper price. So if you're looking for value for money, i definitely not get these. I would move back and have a look and see what you can find in the original Opus range. I think they were a great boot. I think there has been some nice enhancements with what they've done with the Obra version. The changes to the uh, dynamic fit collar are definitely a benefit, and you'll just feel them a little bit better when you wear them. Um, the flying up here is very nice for um, playing around. Obviously, you've got these um, laces off to the side. And this little ball control area here, just for dampening the passes, this is the whole kind of technology stuff that brands have added to the boots to improve them. So the dampening effect of this boot is really going to be good for you. And another thing is, again, they have this sole plate with that rotational um, movement that is useful for you in there. Anyway, let's just grab all these boots together. So here's a bunch of them we're talking about. Obviously, um, I don't have the tempos here at the moment to talk about and um, the, the prime knits and a few things like that. If I was talking about which boot I would say was the best one you can go for, then I would personally be choosing the Obra, although I'm going against what a lot of players are saying because there's not a huge amount of players that are wearing this on pitch, but I just don't think they've been necessarily given a chance or it's even like a key focus for, for Nike to be pushing it as much. Right, that wraps up our best boots for midfielders. Check out Matt's video on defenders if you haven't seen it already. We'll be back with goalkeepers and forwards soon. Go enjoy your football.